Hey there, welcome to another episode of The Man Taking Care of Business. Today, I thought we'd do something more artsy-fartsy. When most people think of art, Calgary is the last thing that comes to their mind, let alone Northeast Calgary. But thankfully, we have a hidden gem in the city called Fire Escape, a unique and vibrant store that allows you to create and paint ceramics. Huh, <laughs> would you look at that? It's time to take care of some business. Hey there, I'd like to welcome today's guest on the show, Kate, the owner of Firescape. Kate, how are you doing today? I am well. How are you, Amir? I was worse before I came to your beautiful store. Now I feel a lot better, to be honest with you. This is like, wonderful. It looks so, like, bubbly and so beautiful. So, like, can you explain some of the stuff you have on the wall here? Certainly. Um, so what we've got here is uh, gingerbread houses made during a Christmas slab workshop that we did. Um, this pumpkin is a modified uh, piece done during another Halloween workshop. Down here, we also have modified pieces. And by modified, I mean we actually cast an object and then we add elements to it and subtract elements from it. So if you take a look at this guy, it's actually the same teapot as that guy, except they were changed to be different. Uh, this is our wheel room. Mm -hmm. uh, currently, we have two wheels that are in action on a regular basis. They're a slightly different wheel. The wheels that we use are vintage wheel. They go back to about the 70s or 80s. And the reason why I got started in on using the wheel is because I inherited my grandmother's wheel. Really? So this whole plate down here holds the momentum when you kick it. And when people come in, I have to explain that it's not leg day today. Uh, we do have a motor uh -huh. <laughs> that's attached to that kick plate. And when you step down on that pedal, the whole motor spins really? and the wheel goes vroom, vroom, vroom. This main painting space holds all of our ready-to-paint product. Uh, it's often called whiteware uh, and also called bisque. Mm -hmm. Some people refer to it as bisque. And we start out with cups and mugs, bowls, tea service plates, housewares, uh, mixed seasonal decor, and then we end with figurines over on this side. Uh, the one thing that is different about our studio in terms of this product is 90% of what you see on the shelves are actually made right here in this studio. Oh, wow. Everything that we have here is similar because we cheat. Okay, you know and what cheating is always a good thing, eh? By cheating, I mean we uh, use a vintage form of 3D printing is we use molds. So the technique that this is called is slip casting. And a mold is a um, 3D object basically imprinted or impressed in um, plaster of Paris blocks. So what happens is we strap this together mm -hmm. and then we pour liquid clay in here. <laughs> um, but when it's in the greenware stage, you can see we've got these rough seams that kind of stuff there, here, these are seams. We need to trim those off or clean them off. Mm -hmm. And instead of doing it in a dry stage, um, which would create too much dust in our studio, we actually re-wet the product uh -huh. and rub them down mm -hmm. with an abrasive sponge. These are kilns. Mm -hmm. So right now this kiln is loaded with things that are going to become glaze items. Are these going to be on the wall? Oh, uh, these are all pieces that people painted here at oh. the studio. This one's a correction. Mm -hmm. um, and these guys are uh, this color white because they've also been glazed with an additional dip glaze. So we're heading upstairs. Um, who drew this little brick wall here? Because I'm in That's love with it. That's pretty much all of my work. I bit off more than I can chew, honestly. I wouldn't say that because you did a good job. These are our people painting. They're doing a wonderful job. Um, and when you're up here, you have access to what we call a satellite station. So these paints are the same as downstairs, mm -hmm. but uh, just for ease of use, we have one of everything on this station. 
And then we have another color chart. Can you sort of explain this uh, color chart to me? Because like, I'm seeing like three different shades. Yes, like you here, are. Here. That's, uh, that's quite right. So what we are looking at when we see three different shades is first, second, and third coats. How long do you have to wait for that, each one to like go when, over? When we're um, using a drying fan, it roughly takes roughly three to five minutes. Oh, so nothing at all. So eh? you're painting it once, letting it dry, painting a second time, letting it dry, possibly painting it a third time. The reason why we recommend doing this is because your first coats can sometimes be streaky. Mm -hmm. So when we're layering and we're painting over large areas, what we're trying to do is kind of um, remedy that streakiness. Mm -hmm. At least it's a simple way of doing it and getting solid color. Do you want to you paint something right now? You got me a little intrigued to be we honest. We could. We could take a look at some painting. All right, shall we? It's like my first time painting, if I'm being honest with you. I know I'm like 27, and that's a weird thing to say, but it's true. So can you give me like some tips on what I should do for the first time? Surely you've held a paintbrush before. Well, pr yes, but like not, nothing well, I'm being honest with you. Okay. One time like- You don't have high expectations. Yeah, so like I honestly, <laughs> I painted like a cat, and everyone I showed it to, they said it looked like a caterpillar. So like oh. my dreams just died right there. It's horrible, it's yeah. horrible. I painted a chicken man, and my, um, Daycare folks called my parents and brought them in for a little talk. So, well, so bad about I get the chicken it. man. Well, they had asked us to draw a person. <laughs> <laughs> so, artists are often free thinkers, yes, and yes, when it are. comes to um, the ability to apply a talent, uh, mm -hmm. that's not really a requirement around here. What we're painting with is literally a colored mud. So okay. it is going to dry and it is going to look like sidewalk chalk. <laughs> and then when you're um, finished, what happens is it's going to go in a kiln and then get fired and become like a glass. Okay. So that's a little explanation of our paint before we get started. Um, squish it into your palette, squirt, squirt. Let's try it out. And it is literally the texture of mud if you go ahead and uh, don't worry, I will play with this. You'll I'm, play I'm with a little it. kid still, don't worry. You could even finger paint if you want. Really? Oh, sure. Why it not? It dries right it's off. It's non toxic, um, and literally, it is a mud. Silica, bromine. Could I eat it? I know it's like a weird thing um, to say as a It's not grown man. tasty. It, it is not tasty. Uh, you're um, you're going to get a certain amount of grit. <laughs> Honestly, I used to be a geologist, so like, yep. I'm used to eating rocks. So. so you're always eating rocks. Yeah. Eating rocks, tasting rocks, smelling rocks. I, I can't remember which one it was. It was one that like, tasted like popcorn, and we all love that one. Are you kidding? Yeah, it was very buttery. So like, what tips would you give to first-timers at your store? A lot of people, when they're getting involved in something creative, can kind of be their own worst critics. Mm -hmm. And they get noisy in their own heads and talk themselves out of stuff before they even get around to doing it. So really it's just more um, step back and, and let yourself be your own best friend. That's I might my be my advice. own worst enemy at this point, to be honest, oh. after, you see what, after you see what I'm able to paint. Oh, no, no. We're just applying paint, no pressure. Can you tell me like, what made you first want to open up your business? Um, I bought the business from original owners, actually. And those original owners had been um, a city-wide going concern for about 26, 25 years before I bought the studio. Oh, really? And then when I decided to buy the studio, it was more out of concern that the second owner that had bought it from them mm -hmm. was not doing very well and uh, actually um, having some family troubles. Mm. So I really just didn't want to see Fire Escape go um, poorly. And I, I just wanted to invest myself into it because it was a business that I felt was worthwhile. Well, that, that's great of you. Was your store originally opened up at, in we Bonas? We were in Bonas, yeah. Can you tell me, like, what's the, what differences do you see since you moved to Northeast Calgary? I mean, do you even notice the difference? Had a, so it wasn't so much probably Boness. It was more the flavor of the store when we were in Boness. Mm -hmm. It had a real high scale uh, 
boutique feel. Oh yeah. And um, they were kind of heading towards the idea of, you know, getting your 80% of your income from 20% of your clientele. Oh, yeah. So they really wanted to cultivate that kind of, I think, a little higher class sensibility. Mm -hmm. And since we moved, we kind of have more of a artsy feel. Oh, We're yeah, for a little sure. bit more real. We're a little bit more industrial. You're authentic is how I would say it. It's authentic, exactly. So like, do you, hold, do you have like a lot of corporate events? Because like, I would love to have like my Christmas party we here. We do have corporate events, indeed. Um, we also partner with um, non-profits as well. Which are non-profits do you want to shout out? Alberta Mental Health, um, CAS, mm -hmm. uh, Woods Homes, um, and uh, the Hall House uh, are all organizations that we've um, provided painting service for at low cost or budget kind of uh, price ranges. Uh, people from those organizations get a 20% discount off of on-shelf ceramics. Mm -hmm. And then our business partners, anyone coming from a corporate world, uh, gets 15% off ceramics. Oh, well, that's so great of you all to do that. Um, we also helped out in for the cold with a painting program and uh, there's a lady who comes in and uses our pottery painting for um, art therapy uh, programming that she does. Can we go first coat a mustache on there? Honestly I feel like a kid right now just making this. This is bringing back some great memories. I, I guess not great because like I was never a good painter but still. Well you don't have to be a great painter um, for pottery painting. That's the that's the amazing part of it. We can show people all sorts of really neat techniques that kind of just shortcut the whole painting thing entirely. Um, sponging or bubbles mm -hmm. um, are also a really great way of getting paint and texture and interest onto a piece that doesn't require a ton of creativity. So what are bubbles? <laughs> Thank you. Here we go. Bubbles. Uh, bubbles are paint, water, and a gift of your air. Okay, that's a... Oh, and soap. Soap is the <laughs> secret ingredient. And that's what literally makes the bubbles on a piece. And so we can make pieces that look kind of like this uh, marble, almost a marble kind of vibe to it, if you really want. Mm -hmm. It's a little rough for me to demo blowing bubbles because I have asthma and <laughs> have a tendency of running out of <laughs> breath. For All right, we don't want you to pass out on camera, right? And the biggest warning we give people is blow, don't suck. Blow, don't suck. Correct. Maybe we should get you doing bubbles. <laughs> it's a good life lesson too, I guess. Um, you know what? I'm feeling happy with this guy. Just from, just from like your store, like how does it really stand out? We are great champions of diversity mm -hmm. um, and our clientele, um, especially now that we've moved to the Northeast, represents way more diversity than we experienced when we were in Bonas. Oh, yeah. um, so we're not only a woman-run, woman-led business, mm -hmm. but we also have um, an LGBTQ um, plus um, ownership mm -hmm. uh, structure as well. We just had the Akram Jorma guys come in the other day and um, they took over. We had 18 plus um, students from their girls group mm -hmm. come into the studio and feel comfortable um, as well because being again all female um, the girls kind of didn't have to put as much in terms of thinking in terms of how they present themselves oh, yeah. to say if they happen to have uh, males around and mm -hmm. we've um, even had uh, various Muslim groups that have sensitivities around that where we've even closed the studio so mm -hmm. that they could be hijab free oh, really? within the context of our space. Y you never like hear that from other businesses. Eh? That, that's really good of y'all. And so we tend to make connections in the community because mm -hmm. we have that diversity in our background. Yeah, for sure. That's, right? the, that's the beauty of just being in the Northeast in general, right? You get all these I different backgrounds so. together. I think so, uh, absolutely. And we were very happy to move to the Northeast mostly because of that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think it's the final judgment time. I honestly think this guy is an exact replica of myself, and I think I did a very good job. So let's see what you did to the camera. Oh let's my see goodness, your I'm here. not even done. <laughs> okay, hang on.
You got a little texture on there. Is, is that what the sponge does? Um, so we're going to just dust that off really quick. Can you explain what the dusting off process is? I've sanded my piece in different areas um, to kind of accentuate angles and uh, planes. Mm -hmm. And the dust is clinging to the ceramic right now. So we're dusting it into the water. The water is actually helping drop the dust and contain it so that it's not going as much up into the atmosphere um, or into my lungs, <laughs> which sucks because asthma. Mm -hmm. But now we've cleaned this guy up, a little bit of, and. Wow. All right, uh, I guess we'll leave it to the audience, but honestly, I like yours a lot better. Here's something like actually like going to a oh, museum. This is not competitive sport. Well, that is true. <laughs> All right, Kay, I appreciate okay. you uh, <laughs> having us on the show today. Thank Kay? you very much, right. Ramon. Camera's looking good. If you're in the Northeast and feel artsy, please check out Fire Escape. Remember, my name's Amanda. Take care.